the story of how the car took over the American street. A century ago, the city street was a public place that was open to everyone. It was shared by pedestrians, horses, and weird old-timey bicyclists alike. Not to mention streetcars that took people to work. Now, Teddy, you have a fun day at the sweatshop. And remember, always walk in the street. It belongs to all of us. But when the car was invented, people started driving them at top speed through the crowded streets, and the results weren't pretty. My boy! He's dead! Oh, dear! So that's what happens when one's motor car strikes a peasant. Naturally, everyone blamed the new invention for the carnage. Seventh kid mashed by a metal death machine this week. Hmm, maybe these things shouldn't be allowed. Public outcry grew. Extra, extra, innocent boy killed by automobile. And some cities even discussed passing laws against them. We propose that the streets not be filled with these high-speed two-ton metal projectiles. Here, here. We are taxes. They're killing us out there. Well, technically, we're killing them, Bill. Ooh, good point. We gotta fight this thing. I got it. We'll tell them the streets are for cars only, and if a car kills you, it's your own fault. And we'll give the folks that walk in the street a really humiliating nickname. What about Irish walkers? Now, that's pretty cruel, but we can do better. I got it. Jaywalkers. Oh, you disgust me. And I love it. It doesn't mean much to us now, but back then, Jay was a really offensive slur. It basically meant dirty hillbilly, which makes this really messed up. Like, what if today we called them walkers, or walkers, or even walkers? Hey man, come on, there's a kid on set. Yikes, sorry. To publicize their new insult, the auto industry actually planted stories in newspapers blaming pedestrians for automobile death. <laughs> Extra, extra, lame brain jaywalker slings himself before a noble automobile. My boy, a J? Serves him right, I say. I hate those good-for-nothing Js. So do we all, sir. Me too. I hope my stupid J son rots in hell. Today, jaywalking is a crime. And in fact, most of our modern traffic safety culture descends from this kind of blame-shifting propaganda. Think about it. A group of private businessmen coined an offensive slur to promote their product, and it worked so well that today it's a legal term. That's like if the trash can industry convinced us all to call littering <laughs> dropping. Seriously, dude, do you even think before you speak? You know, funny, I don't. As a result of this campaign, the street went from being a public place where everyone was welcome to a terrifying off-limits death trap. Stay back, Ethel. The streets belong to the machines now. Thank you for granting us passage, Metal Majesty. Hi, I'm Adam Conover. If you want to see more, click here or here. I don't know what either of these are because they're going to add them in post. I don't know what the videos are. They just told me in the script to do this. Just here's a secret for you. Hollywood's fake. Everything's added in post.